Hey folks, it's Shane. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you watch Ham Radio YouTube at all, you're probably familiar with the DX Commander, a fantastic antenna. But did you know you can buy these telescoping masks from DX Commander as a standalone item? Of course you did. You know how I know you already know? Because I'm always the last to know. All right, recently Callum from DX Commander had a sale on the Expedition antenna that he has. Uh, free shipping and then a, a few bucks off. So the whole package came to my door within a week for less than 300 bucks. And that's uh, 2023 bucks. So, well I should say April 2023 bucks because who knows what's gonna happen these days. But I digress. At any rate, I've had my eye on these things for quite a while, and uh, that was enough incentive to push me over to the edge. While this thing was in transit, Steve from Temporary Offline put out a video on his 818 kit. Uh, and the mast for that is a DX Commander Expedition 10 meter mast. And up until that video, I had no idea you could buy these masts on their own from Callum, so very cool. Now, obviously the kit has arrived for me and I'm gonna wait for a little better weather before I set it up, but I figured it's support your parks weekend for, uh, for the spring. And I'm gonna just try using this to support my infant half wave. So overall, first impressions is this thing is pretty nice. It is very compact. It's fairly lightweight for a 10 meter collapsible pole. Uh, when compared to my spider beams 10 meter pole, I'll put some pictures and stuff with all the weights and dimensions because I don't know them off the top of my head, but I know this one is a lot lighter. How's that? Uh, the construction is great. Uh, it's got the rubber stopper on the one end, the larger stopper on the bottom with the nice screw off cap. That gives you easy access to all the sections so that way you can take it apart for drying out, cleaning, replacing broken ones, that kind of thing. Now this is the part I edit out because nobody wants to watch me screw a cap back on. So for this temporary endeavor, all I did is I took a piece of cordage, made a loop, and I taped it on the end of the mast. I'll be able to hook my uh, infant half wave on that and we'll give it a go. So over here will be a good place to uh, hook this guy up. And uh, another quick tip, since my infant half wave here is gonna be bouncing around on the snow, I put just a uh, binding post onto the BNC terminal on the antenna and that will keep snow from getting in there. All right, this is the first time I've taken this thing out and yeah, it seems all right. And with that binding post on the antenna itself, I can just let it flop around. All right, what I see right now is this thing does not bend over too badly. This is a pretty stout antenna for its size and weight. Yeah, that ain't bad. This dog will hunt. All right, now we'll just do K8 MRD style and just lay it into the trees like so. And all the snow falls off. One thing we'll do is make sure that the matching thingy isn't clogged up and it isn't too bad. No snow in there, so we're good to go. Yeah, that thing is, that ain't bad at all. Not bad at all, nicely specked out there, Callum.
<sighs> so let's give it a go. Park to park, Kilo Delta 9, November, Juliet, Juliet. Okay, Kilo Delta 9, November, Juliet, Juliet. There was a double there by Kilo 5 and 8, 6 and 1. That Kilo 2194 was then 4 OKN. I got you coming in at 5555 five, five, and a park Kilo 4350, QSL. Seventy-three, my friend. N seven PW, you copy your own KK six third gen. Yeah, I wondered where you went. Okay. Yeah, sorry, right when I, I said uh, go to forty, uh, the wife called me in there. She had never seen a crow as big as this. So there's a rank right juve the right on top of a park. Fun. They were just standard size, but she thought they were giant. That's nice. You're talking about crows. Alright. Park to park, park to park, Kilo Delta 9, November, Juliet, Juliet. Kilo Delta 9, Sierra Juliet Station, QSL to confirm. Kilo Delta 9, November, Juliet, Juliet. Kilo Delta Niner, Norway, Japan, Japan. So, got the mast for the DX Commander Expedition with me. It nests quite well in the mesh pocket of the ICOM backpack for the 705. And I think I just might have to pick up an extra one of these and ditch my 10 meter spider beams mast. All right, now I love that 10 meter mass from spider beams. That thing is stout, rock solid, not too expensive. Great, great all around uh, class wool mast. But it didn't carry very well in this pack in particular. I did a video last winter when I first got it. Or did I first get that or the 705? Either way, I went out into a uh, Interstate Park by St. Croix Falls, and it just didn't carry very well. I tried strapping it horizontally across the pack and tipped and swayed all over. Put it in a mesh pocket like this, and it would cant my pack quite a bit. And while it's not that much heavier than this guy, or that much bigger, you backpackers know ounces equals pounds, pounds equals pain. And also things don't sit quite as well in your pack. Um, I may be, like I said, getting another one of these to uh, replace that spider beams. Again, nothing wrong with that spider beams mass. I like it a lot, but for my personal needs, this DX Commander mass is a little bit better. And more I think about it, maybe I'll need to get another one. Uh, well, we'll see. When I get the expedition all set up and figure out the way to uh, carry it efficiently with minimal setup and tear down, maybe the mass will be staying on. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Whatever. So, first time using the DX Commander Expedition mast uh, on its own, and this is pretty solid. It, uh, it does not have as much flex as I was expecting, hanging off a in-fed half wave, 40 meter length. It's super light compared to the spider beams 10 meter mast I have. Again, I've showed you by now the side-by-sides of these things. It's quite a bit smaller in length, diameter, and weight. And it's still not flimsy. It's not like the Carbon 6 from Soda Beams, which is super small and light, but uh, bends over quite a bit. So this is a good good, good option for uh, backpack portable. Uh, it'll fit in most backpacks or strap onto the outside. Uh, again, like Tio has on his A18 kit. I'll have a link for that video at the end here. Check that out. So if you're hunting around for a 
10 meter pole that's very portable. This was a very good option. With all that, have a good one, folks. Catch you later. I'm getting cold.